Hey, everyone. Ever feel like science is moving crazy fast these days? Yeah, it's really incredible. Like it's accelerating. Yeah. And today we're talking about something that's fueling that acceleration. Artificial intelligence. Right. Specifically, we're going deep into AI's impact on scientific research itself. And we're not talking science fiction here. Yeah. We're really looking at a really rigorous study uh, from nature human behavior. Okay. They crunched the numbers on millions of publications and patents. Wow. Giving us a snapshot of AI's footprint across the research world. Okay, so millions of research papers, patents, that's not exactly light reading. No. What's the headline here? What were they trying to figure out? So imagine the research world is this evolving ecosystem. Okay. This study helps us track a new force within that ecosystem. A AI. Right. We get to see which fields it's impacting most, how it's changing the game. Yeah. And and what that might mean for the future of discovery. So like mapping the DNA of scientific progress, but with AI as the unexpected ancestor. Exactly. <sighs> and one of the first things they found was this huge surge in AI use mm. across nearly every area of science, yeah. especially since around 2015. That tracks with what a lot of us have noticed, right? Yeah. Like suddenly deep learning, convolutional neural networks. Oh yeah. It was everywhere, everywhere you looked. Right. For a while there, I felt like I needed a glossary just to keep up with the lingo. Yeah, it was a lot. Right. It really was a watershed moment. Yeah. But the study goes beyond just buzzwords. Okay. It shows these terms aren't just appearing more often. Yeah. The actual techniques they represent are being actively used in research. Okay. And the impact is measurable. So it's not just talk, it's actual tools being put to work. Exactly. Give me an example. Sure. What kind of impact are we talking about? Well, they found that research papers that mention AI mm -hmm. are significantly more likely to be highly cited. Okay. Basically, other scientists are paying attention and building upon those AI-powered findings. It's a clear sign that AI is shaping the direction of scientific inquiry. That's huge. So AI isn't just speeding up research, it's potentially leading to more groundbreaking discoveries as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's got to have researchers on the edge of their seats. Absolutely. Really exciting stuff. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Okay. That citation premium, mm -hmm. as they call it, is even higher in fields where AI use is less common. Now, that's a surprise. Yeah. So fields that aren't typically thought of as being on the cutting edge of AI right. are actually seeing a bigger impact when they do use it. Yeah. That almost feels counterintuitive. It does, doesn't it? It suggests that even a little bit of AI can be incredibly powerful in fields that haven't fully embraced it yet. Yeah. It's like introducing a new element into the equation and seeing a completely unexpected reaction. It makes you wonder if we're only just scratching the surface of what's possible. Yeah. But if AI is having this much impact already, right. what does it mean for the researchers themselves? Yeah, that's a great question. Are we all going to have to become AI experts? It's a great question. And it's yeah. something the study looked at directly. Okay. Turns out, uh, there's a bit of a plot twist. Okay. While AI is surging in research, uh, the actual skills and knowledge to develop and use it effectively. Yeah. Well, those are spreading a bit more slowly. So it's like having a fleet of race cars, but not enough drivers who can handle them at top speed. Exactly. That sounds like a recipe for, well, not reaching AI's full potential. Exactly. And it's not surprising, really. Yeah. If you think about it, computer science is naturally ahead when it comes to AI expertise. Right. But other fields, physics, chemistry, even social sciences, they're now playing catch up to integrate this technology into their toolkits. So what's the solution? Are we looking at a future where every scientist needs a degree in computer science just to keep up? It's not quite that extreme. The study <laughs> actually highlights a really encouraging trend, collaboration. Okay. More and more we're seeing domain experts like those physicists or chemists teaming up with AI specialists. It's this cross-pollination of knowledge that's leading to some of the most exciting advancements. So teamwork makes the dream work even in the world of cutting edge science. It seems like it. It makes sense, right? You've got the deep knowledge of the field itself combined with the AI know-how to unlock new possibilities. Precisely, and the study found that in fields where AI is being applied most effectively, mm -hmm. this type of collaboration is much more common. Interesting. It really does seem to be the key to unlocking the full potential of AI in research. Okay, that's promising. Yeah. But I have to ask, with all this talk about breakthroughs and potential, is everyone benefiting equally from this AI revolution in research? It's almost like we're handing out these incredibly powerful tools, 
to researchers, but are we making sure everyone has equal access to those tools? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? And unfortunately, it's one that we don't have a clear answer to yet. This particular study really focused on the what what's happening in research rather than the why. Yeah. But definitely sets the stage for some important conversations moving forward. So while this study doesn't offer concrete solutions, it feels like a call to action. Absolutely. We're talking about shaping the future of scientific discovery. Right. That's a responsibility we can't take lightly. Exactly. And to be fair, awareness is a crucial first step by highlighting these trends. This research is laying the groundwork for deeper investigations into how we can ensure a more equitable AI-powered future for science. It's like we're at this pivotal crossroads. We can either embrace AI in a way that lifts everyone up or risk exacerbating existing inequalities. That's a powerful way to put it, and it underscores the importance of not just focusing on the technological advancements themselves, but also on the ethical and societal implications of those advancements. This has been an incredible deep dive, to say the least. We've gone from AI being this futuristic concept to something that's actively shaping the present and future of scientific research with all its complexities. It really highlights how interconnected science and society truly are. Yeah. We can't have a conversation about one without considering the other. Absolutely. Yeah. So as you continue to explore the world of AI and its impact on our lives, remember this. It's not just about the algorithms or the code. It's about the choices we make, the questions we ask, and the future we want to create. Well said. And on that note, until next time, keep diving deep. <laughs>